My name is Tessa Roy. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Hey guys, so I'm in a collared shirt today because I'm going to go play some golf on the military base, which makes you wear a collared shirt if you're going to go play some golf with them. Um, I'm going to go play with my friend Andrew, who plays on the varsity team with me at my school. And first off, we're going to try this thing. Double Dutch chocolate. That's rather scary. So anyway, I am in, I woke up in a rather good mood today because when I went to my trainer yesterday, I found out that I had lost 4% of my body fat, which is rather good considering I'd only been working with him for a month. And my weight had stayed, my body weight had stayed the same, so that meant that I lost fat weight and gained muscle mass, which is rather good. All right, let's try this thing out. That's actually not too bad. It's not very chocolatey, but it's not very cardboardy either. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to buy that more often. All right, guys, see you on the golf course. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh shit, <laughs> let's stay out. Mm. I know Big Ball Daddy has worn his uh, Tennessee jersey on camera, but tell me, does he have one of these? Big Ball Daddy, if you have one of these babies, let me know. Got it off a of flea market here. With a two-stroke swing on the 10th hole, Andrew is now leading by one. After me leading for the entirety of the front nine, how does it feel? It feels great. I just made an awesome birdie. Uh, actually, yeah, he did. I am an idiot and didn't catch this on camera, but he actually chips in from about 30 feet out and, and makes a really good birdie. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens on this next part three here. Uh, that's where I usually suck. It's along about 180 yards. And uh, we'll see, he might turn back here and he might gain the lead again. Yeah, we'll see. Oh shit, that looks pretty good actually. Is it short? Yeah, a little bit short. doing all day. Here's the next hole. Start up there and you hit all the way up that hill. On to the next hole which is, well I'll tell you it's a surprise. Um, par 4. Yeah. Par 4, nice short par 4. Andrew's going to explain it for you. Alright. Uh, so, where they are with their carts there is about 200 yards out, maybe a little bit more. So your first drive should be out there somewhere, and leave yourself with maybe 100 yards to the hole. But it's tricky because you can't see the green from where you're hitting on your second shot, and uh, it's actually really easy to come up short. Yeah, because it's really uphill. Uphill, into the wind. Plus, um, if you... Plus, uh, when you get up there, you can't see the pin, so it's like it plateaus, but that, that's not like the start of the green as soon as you reach the top of the, the hill. Right. Which is really kind of weird, but whatever. And there's trouble left. 
trees right. So you really got to hit it straight on your first shot. And the, the green is actually pretty thin because there's hazards, there's uh, out of bounds all around it too. So you actually have to have a pretty accurate second shot too. Right. So with any luck, there will be a lead change here. So I hit my drive into some really crappy stuff, and uh, my ball coming up right now. It, it it went out right about there. I hit my drive really bad. That was my third shot. I had to drop. There's a hole all the way over there. Andrew has, to, Andrew has to drop, so right now we're both going to be hitting our fourth shot, and we'll see. So Andrew is taking his drop, and now this is fourth shot. Just to remind you, I'll be hitting my fourth shot as well into this green. It's very treacherous. Here we go. Bad, but the group of the flag is all the way over there. He's got a sand wedge here. Some sort of wedge. Landed short of the, on the green, rolling out. And I don't know if you can see that, but like inside of your ball, dude. just four four feet inside where my ball landed over there. A little bit uphill. It's gonna go a little bit. He didn't hit it. He's been doing this all day. If I win, the only reason is because he never hit his putts. Leave the purse at home next time, my friends. Okay, here's John. He's got himself about a 15 footer. Ah, uh, maybe less. Maybe 10 feet. Yeah, about 10 feet. For bogey. Tie it up. Oh! Left himself with some work to do. Yeah. Still got some work here. Alright, so... And here is a really nice view of the ocean. Yeah, you can kind of see, uh... Next few holes wrap around the ocean. There's like some dead Hawaiian burial ground place, so apparently it's like cursed land or something like that. I have no idea. Uh, apparently they did build one of the holes around uh, a Hawaiian burial ground, so apparently everyone's supposed to suck on that hole. I don't know. So Andrew made a par on what might be the toughest hole on this golf course, and uh, now we're up to the 14th, and I made a bogey, so great, uh, after a horrible drive. So, he's now up by two. So, this hole is not difficult. It just takes a good drive. So, I got to get off to a good start here. So, I hit what might be my best drive of the day. Uh, pretty far. A little bit of draw on it. Andrew is out there in the fucking weed somewhere. All the way over there. And, this could be a big swing on this one. Alright, he hit it. Trailing towards the hole. Oh, oh! So close. Roll a little bit past. About a four footer. If this doesn't go, and I make my par, it could be a possible, uh, or it could be a two shot swing here. Uh, and you just gotta be very careful. This one's a little bit downhill. It's gonna break a little bit. I believe, even though I haven't had a look at it. Double bogey for me there. Almost made the putt. Here's John to save par. And he makes it. Reducing the lead to nothing. We're now even.